Oh. Oh. Oh, Dharma. Oh. Oh, oh, Dharma. Oh, this rice pudding is so good, Dharma. Oh. Uh, what? 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 I'm awake. Who? What? Oh, you again? Where have you been for like four months? Holy crap, guys. I've been out here sleeping in the rain. And I know a normal person might have just gone into the pub right there, five seconds away, and used some of my masses of money to get a bed for for the time, but, but it's the principle of the thing. You left me here, here, not in there. And I couldn't just go wandering off without your observation, that would just... I mean, you just don't do that. Ugh. But since you're here, hello! In the previous episode, about five years ago, long overdue, apologies for the delay, in the previous episode, we went to... where is it? Here it is, Bruma! And we killed a guy who was a vampire hunter or some nonsense. And then we got a magical necklace, specifically the Pythagorean of Lythness, an ancient Welsh artifact of great power that has slightly decreased my incredibly irritating slow running speed. So basically we are unstoppable now. The crappy healing spell has returned. Wilson has returned. All is well in the world. Now, uh, you might recall uh, on the last time, after we did all that nonsense, that was a catch-up. It's like it lost. It's like, previously on Rex Butin, he did a bunch of useless crap and then fell down a hole. But yes, but also after we did all that, we came here. We came here, we went into the... We were going into Captain Janeway's coffee shop in order to... Hey, it's that dude, and the green man! Oh, the memories! But we were going to talk to the clones because I think they have to pay us for the... Oh! Oh, look! Speak of the devil! Yes, yes. So, without further ado, our adventures continue! That wasn't meant to rhyme, but it did. Hello, man who appears to be dressed as Robin Hood. What? Oh yeah, I forgot, you're drunk, aren't you? Oh, I like you. I do have one quick addition to make, however. Because I know I've been calling her Captain Janeway, but I think it needs to be official if I can find the... There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you know, Voyager isn't my favourite Star Trek by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a hell of a lot better than frickin' Enterprise. And it may actually have my favourite theme, you know. If I sing one more note, I'll get sued. So let's just talk to Robin Hood. I can't thank you enough for helping to reunite me with Reynold. I never would have guessed he was still alive. And that's why I'm giving you all my money. But if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. Well, it depends how much money is involved. It's also an extremely gay-sounding name. Weatherly. It's so whimsical and fanciful. Fine, tell me about your boring fairy house. Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did. And for and that, that I grateful. will never forgive you. But we both want more. We want our home back. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than either of us. You could break our faces with no go trouble. Would you and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? Um... Well, you don't want me to just go there and see if it's inhabited by ogres, do you? You want me to kill the frickin' ogres. And, you know, I don't think I've met an ogre yet, but it doesn't sound like something that's going to be a pushover. It doesn't sound, oh look, there's a merry band of fanciful ogres over there. No, it sounds like, holy crap, ogres run for your life, they're going to eat your face. Well, I suppose if there's money. Thank you. 
Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, but north of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. Oh, lovely. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. We'll be waiting anxiously. And if you don't come back, we'll just assume you were eaten by the same ogres who killed our mother. Well, thanks for that. I wish my father had given me a better description of its location. But for some reason, all he told me was south of Coral, north of Fort Kamala. Well, that's a fat lot of fucktards is what that is. Careful. Oh. I don't know what dangers may lurk in the great forest. Apparently I got more famous for some reason, which I suppose is nice. Hang on. Ten fame? Holy crap, that's almost eleven fame. Well, as fun as it's been, Captain Janeway. Hang on. Uh, yes. So that, where is this? They're trying to fight, let me go find their crappy house. Speaking of crappy houses, look how freaking close I am to having the crappy house. But once I've got the crappy house, I also need to buy some shelves and chests of drawers and crap in order to store things in. I don't know. But this ogre quest sounds vaguely... I have this vague plan of uh, going south, because that appears to be the most direct route to Skingrad. And I said, like in the first ever video, let's go to Skingrad, and now it's episode 67, and I'm just again thinking maybe we should go to Skingrad. I'd also forgotten how pretty this map mod is. Go get that map mod. Now, of course we could not pay a visit to Coral without also investigating a certain lovely lizard lassie of some familiarity to us. She famously made me jump out of my skin after I walked through the door and she was hiding in the corner. But you know, I've forgiven her for that. I have forgiven her her sins. For she is just so lovely. Indeedly. Well, I, oh, I also need to sell crap to her mum, so I have an excuse to go and visit. She seems to just live in this house all day, from my previous experience. Waiting to jump on passing visitors. Oh, I wouldn't have minded being jumped on today. Is this your room? Oh! Oh, well, we've got her. Yes, yes! Hello? No? Hmm. Oh! Ah! Oh, I... Re <laughs> oh, for some reason I found that. I haven't played this in so long, but I just kind of reflexively pressed the torch button, which I still remember what I set it to. That's a good sign. I have to say, oh, oh, cra! Um, I was just admiring your steel-plated mauler, madam. Um, yes, I was in no way breaking into your daughter's room in order to see if she was a um. Hello. I don't mean to impose, but I'm hoping you can help me. My daughter Dama is missing. What? I don't know what to do. What? What? A has she run away from me or something? What? Dharma, I thought we had a thing going. Uh, I'm in shock. I'm in actual shock. What? Okay. The, the phrase cock tease gets thrown around a lot these days, but... Holy crap, Dharma. Well... Oh, I'm torn, because on the one hand I've got to save frickin' Dharma, but on the other hand... She ran away from me. But, oh... I also like how really surprised her mum looks. She's like, oh, oh no, oh, oh, my pupils are moving around weirdly in surprise. That was an attempt at being funny. Oh dear, I'm so out of practice with this Let's Play nonsense, I tell you. Yeah, this will be a learning experience for both of us. Fine, tell me about your your missing daughter who I may... has. She's broken my heart, but I will break the faces of whoever has stolen her away. That's right. My daughter Dharma never came back from Hackdirt. I'm dreadfully worried something may have happened to her. Can you help? Well, clearly, if you'd hired me to accompany her in a perfectly legit, upstanding, above-the-law sort of way to wherever she was going, this would never have happened. You should have just rang me up and been, Yo, Rex Butin, my man. I was just hoping you could take my young maiden of a daughter out into the woods for some perfectly above-board interesting adventures. But did you? No. No, you didn't. 
And now look at the mess you got yourselves into. But yes, I am honor bound by the code of chivalry to rescue your daughter. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. She was supposed to make a delivery to a Tira Moslin in Hector, so I would start there. In case it may be useful, she Ooh. was with Blossom, her horse, I mean. Dharma loves that animal and would never willingly abandon her. You know, horses, that reminds me. <laughs> yes, um, on the topic of horses, uh, I had a rather embarrassing revelation during the six years between this episode and the last one. Remember when we were going to Bruma and we had that tragic incident of my precious old Smeggy getting eaten alive by a big cat of some sort? And I was like, oh crap, now I've got to buy a new horse, this sucks donkey bollocks. But then I freaking remember that someone else offered me a free horse over at Wayne and Priory. So this gives me a perfect excuse, I'm just going to set the quest to this, because... Screw your freaking house, this is an emergency, you know, this... This poor lassie has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Dharma? So, what is going on? Uh, okay, um, I'm just in shock here. I, f I, I feel more than justified. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's actually crapper than what I already have. Oh, never mind. I've still got this thing. Look, I've got to sell crap to the mum. And then I will see you outside of Coral, where we will begin... Well, we need to get the horse, and then we'll begin the adventure to rescue... Dharma. See you in a minute. Okay, we are slightly richer financially, though emotionally we are bankrupt. And, I mean, just, Wilson was just beside himself, weren't you, Wilson? Yes, which is kind of actually a bit creepy that he is so shaken up over Dharma's disappearance, because... Okay, point number one, you're dead. Point number two, she's my fiance, not yours. Point number three... Seriously, dude, you're a skull, what the hell? That's just creepy. Hey, it's the angry Dunma man who for some reason d disliked me with a passion. Oh yes, but um... I have uh, come here, finally, to take this dude up on his offer of a free horse, and here he is! He she, probably, actually. But uh, let's just do... yes. In the grand tradition of naming horses amazing things, I hereby dub thee... Drum roll. New Smeggy! It is a pleasure, New Smeggy. Yes! And I've definitely got on the right one. I haven't accidentally stolen someone's horse. No. Okay then. I'm listening. The Rex Pew team is a family once again with the allocated quota of three people. This is such a freaking, you know, masterpiece of a ragtag. D team here. I mean, we've got the horse, we've got a lizard man rock star, and we've got his trusty sidekick, a dead skull. As opposed to a living skull. Oh, I don't know. I can't make sense of this crazy world without dumb. Okay, two things now. First of all, I've, I've noticed, if you ever watch my videos back, if I record something for about... Uh, if I do a two-hour recording session, what seems to end up happening is that after the first hour, I kind of run... Oh, there's a thing over here. I kind of run out of energy and start just getting all tired and bored sounding. And I don't make nearly as many witty comments as I usually do. So I think from here on, I'm going to limit myself to roughly one hour recording sessions because I, wa I want to keep the product good, you know. Also, what the fuck, there's another, there's another frickin' Tyrion Lannister over there. I like my incredibly sweary reaction. Holy fuck balls! there's a Tyrion Lannister. Oh, there's a crazed imp. He's crazy, he's gone mad with power. Oh, crikey, ah, ah. I f I'm not used to the battling this frame rate anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, I do- ow! Ow! Ah! Oh, Christ. I do have a secret weapon in the event of horrendous frame rate. I think I'll show you this to you, just because it's quite amusing. It's a little command called TLB, and it turns on light bright mode, which makes the game absolutely hideous, but it does give me about 20 more frames per second, so... I think it's a value it's a valuable trade-off. 
which is useful in the event of combat. And I'm dying, so I'm going to take a potion quickly. I've been meaning to show that off for a while, just because the fact that I need to use that. If you're still watching this Let's Play, I salute you, because you've been putting up with some completely unreasonable technical difficulties. I'm just going to uh, fast forward... Ah, uh, two hours. No, seven hours. So yes, from now on I'm going to try and record in one hour sessions at the most, just because I... It just... I, if you watch some of my other videos, you can just tell I'm losing the passion after a while, and that's just because I get so tired. It's very... It, it's an endurance run to try and be funny for two hours solid. So I'm going to try and stick to one hour from now on, but also... Also, I have to wonder what the hell this thing is. Didn't I find one of these before? Way Shrine of Julianos. There appears to be a mosquito or something in my room. I'm talking IRL right now, not... Holy crap. It's the ladybird, come back for revenge, anyway. That's a reference to a previous video. Now... Okay... I do love beauty. Like the beauty of a fine lizard lassie. Oh, Dharma! I don't care what you've done, I will save you from the ninja horde. I don't think you can really get ninja whores, they tend to just kind of come at you one at a time, that's the whole point. And then I went silent for no reason because my brain just died. That's the sort of thing that happens if I try and play for two hours at a time, is my brain just collapses on you know, itself and forms a singularity and absorbs the planet. But yes, but the other thing I want to talk about is... I've decided so often, if you watch the videos, I'll just be standing around talking. I'll, I'll stand around for ten minutes talking about nonsense. And then I'll go on a long journey during which I have nothing to say. And I'm thinking, why can't I just talk while I'm riding? That's so much more efficient. Speaking of talking, we seem to have discovered... Holy crap, is it... I'm being attacked by a pig. What is this, Far Cry 3? Topical jokes. Come here, you. Oh, Christ, ah. He's a tough bugger. Oh, no, 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 no. New Smeggy, no. I almost called you old Smeggy out of habit. That's so depressing. But yes, yeah, Smeggy. I could just call you Smeggy, can't I? It's a, it's a, it's a family name. Uh, okay, why is this place apparently burnt down? Okay, first of all, hack. There's a freaking trap door. I'm remembering that. I'm coming back for that. Okay, so this place is burnt down. There are suspicious trap doors. It's got a creepy well. It's, and it's got a church, so you know they're evil. Only evil places have religion. Um, they do have a general trader. Mausolin, isn't that the person? I think I'm going to wait until morning. Oh, no. No. No, I have a better idea. Let's go in the church and and beat up some priests or something. Chapel of the Brethren? Holy crap, is this some kind of ninja religion? Nin nin ninja re lin ninja religion. Ninja religion. Ninja. I'm trying to combine ninja and religion into a word. Bible of the Deep Ones. Um. When did this turn into a Lovecraft novel? Um. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, this is a level 12 um situation. Uh. Well, okay, that's fine. Somebody's been conversing with Cthulhu. No, no problems. Holy crap, it's the alien death cult. They've got like an Illuminati symbol on there. Big Brother is watching you. Oh my... What madness have I stumbled into? And now I'm just going to impulsively climb to the top of the church because I'm a rebel like that. The church, which for some reason is making my frame rate go. Oh, oblivion. I don't care about your crappy textures, you're beautiful to me. You know, I will one day have a freaking gaming PC, and then I will r be able to run Minecraft at 60 frames a second. That's true though, I would just get this, this amazing computer and then play Minecraft and theme hospital with it. Ah, uh, a theme hospital, that's a good, that's a fun game. Oh crap, please don't kill me! Okay. Okay, I suddenly worried for a second there I was going to die. Which probably wouldn't have been a problem, since there was probably an autosave at the top of the... Whatever. 
Yes, Maggie, hold down the the uh, what the the just the, the stand there. Uh, why is this place open in the middle? Of, well, it's not open. I have to pick the lock, but it is open in the sense that it's not trespassing. She's probably not going to be in there if the door's locked. Uh, you know, I think I think I'm going to role play for once because usually when I want to sit around town, I just literally stand still for five hours, which is kind of unsettling. That's kind of like some serial killer behaviour right there. But you know, and hang on, is everyone in this place just called Moslin or something? The Cthulhu alien death cult alarms are ringing. I'm still not sure how the ninja, li ninja religion comes into it. But let's just get in here.